In today's video, I'm diving deep into the world of foreign vloggers and why they're flocking to the Philippines. With over 7,000 islands to explore, it's no wonder that the Philippines is a treasure trove for many vloggers from all corners of the globe. So let's jump right into it with 15 reasons why foreign vloggers come to the Philippines. Reason number one, and this is the main reason, Filipino viewers. This obviously doesn't apply to my current subscribers because they subscribe even though my content and vlogging style are totally different. Vloggers discovered the perfect recipe for success on YouTube, and that is Filipino viewers. We have long known that our channels would explode once we create our first video in the Philippines. We know that Filipinos seek foreign validation because of colonial mentality, meaning Filipinos value what we think of them and their country. I doubt that vloggers are familiar with the concept of colonial mentality, but I could be wrong. They probably base their decision to travel to the Philippines solely on the idea that foreign vloggers are valued in the Philippines, hence the explosion of their YouTube channels. Now, let's dig deeper into colonial mentality. You're going to focus on content that talks about a country, its people, and its culture in a little corner located in Southeast Asia. A race that suffers from the colonial mentality that constantly begs recognition from outside of its borders. Sure, there are other countries that experience the same cultural inferiority too, but these people are on a different level. They are intense with their pride. We're talking about the Philippines and the Filipinos. Oh, and by the way, this is crucial. You have to be from outside the Philippines. It's important that you don't live there. It's worth noting that it would be easier to attract Filipinos to your YouTube videos if you live abroad. It does not matter if you have the skin color of white, black, yellow, blue, or whatever. Just don't be from the Philippines. Keep in mind that Filipinos measure success through the validation of foreigners. And for the background, use the photo of the video, food, drink, or whatever subject you reacted to. And the cherry on top, put in the best adjective you can come up with. For the title, let them see the Filipinos know your ethnicity. Are you a Japanese person? Put it on the title. Oh, you're an American. My bad. Hold on one sec. 
I'm sorry, you're not an average American, but an architect too. Let's fix that. You now have Filipino content to upload, an eye-catching thumbnail, and an SEO-friendly title. Now all you have to do after is sit down, relax, and welcome the new subscribers make their way to your YouTube channel and let the hundreds and thousands of views flow in. You have finally summoned the Filipinos. Watch the Filipino pride intensify. All you're waiting for now is that silver or maybe even gold YouTube play button and those Google AdSense money make its way to your bank account. That's why if you've noticed that all vloggers use the same titles once they arrive in the Philippines because they observe that videos which contain the same titles tend to get lots of views. Some Filipinos say that foreign vloggers come to the Philippines because Filipinos speak English. But keep in mind, Singapore and Malaysia are English-speaking countries. But vloggers don't flock to these countries because Malaysians and Singaporeans don't care about what foreigners think of them or their country. Deep down, they know that their countries are beautiful on their own. They don't need foreigners to confirm that. It's given to them. Why do you think vloggers don't travel to Mindanao? Especially Davao City. Because people in Mindanao don't care about what foreigners think of their province. Mindanao wasn't colonized by any European country. Their culture was left intact. People in Mindanao preserved their culture. Their self-worth does not stem from or rely on external forces. In this case, vloggers. Meaning, their satisfaction does not come from outside forces. To put it simply, it doesn't matter what foreigners think of them. Filipinos have to realize and accept the fact that they indeed value what foreigners think of them and their country. Precisely because of colonial mentality. That's the first step and everything else will follow. Filipinos have no idea how rich their culture is. We envy your rich culture. We don't have any culture to speak of. In the Philippines, every region, namely Luzon, uh, Visayas, and Mindanao, has its own unique culture. If you are a Filipino listening to this, you have to realize that you are great people with rich culture and a beautiful country. You don't need foreigners to confirm that. To fully understand colonial mentality, let's take a look at an example. I'm going to give you a short test. I'm going to show you three different images of different vloggers and you have to choose one quickly. You'll have five seconds to decide. So, are you ready? Look at the three different vloggers. The one on the left is African. The one in the middle is Filipino. And the one on the right is European. Now, suppose you see their videos on your homepage. Imagine that their videos are nearly identical, meaning their thumbnail, text, and titles are the same. Which one would you pick? For this test to be successful, you have to be honest with yourself. The correct answer is either all of them or none of them. If you choose the one on the right, then you suffer from or affected by colonial mentality. Please keep in mind that vlogging is not my source of income. We don't rely on vlogging to sustain our daily needs. Here's a quick story why I'm here. Prior to coming to the Philippines, I've been doing a lot of research on the Philippines and other Southeast Asian countries. The main reason I focus on the Philippines is because my girlfriend is a Filipina and we've been dating for almost six years. And we've been also building um, some properties in the Philippines, so I had to come here. I was also sick and tired of the Western individualistic culture. A culture that is responsible for the 
staggering suicide rates in Canada and America. There are three types of foreign vloggers in the Philippines. One, vloggers who were based in Thailand, visited the Philippines and witnessed how their channels exploded. So, they decided to relocate to the Philippines. The second type is frequent travelers who visited the Philippines and decided to stay for a little while. The last type is expats. Expats who live in the Philippines permanently and have families here. They don't get lots of views. Why? Because they live in the Philippines. They don't satisfy Filipinos thirst or foreign validation. Reason number two, affordable living. Vlogging can be expensive, especially if it's your full-time job. But the Philippines offers an affordable cost of living. Many foreign vloggers find that they can stretch their budgets while creating great content. What's unique about the Philippines is that there are options for everything. For example, if you generate a decent income from your YouTube channel, then you can live a Western lifestyle in BGC. If your YouTube channel does not generate enough income, then you can live in the province where rent is generally cheap. Coming people. One of the main reasons uh, vloggers come to the Philippines is the warm and welcoming Filipino people. Their hospitality and friendly nature make vlogging a delightful experience. Filipinos are extremely sociable people. They love to engage in conversations with foreigners. And most Filipinos are not camera shy because they're used to socializing with foreigners and they are used to the whole idea of vlogging. Filipinos invite foreigners to their home all the time. It happens a lot here. Number four, cultural diversity. With over 100 different ethnic groups in the Philippines, it's safe to say that the Philippines is a melting pot of cultures. This diversity allows vloggers to explore and share unique cultural experiences. Each region has its own unique cultures. Vloggers won't have difficulty creating interesting content they won't run out of content. Number five, breathtaking scenery. The Philippines boasts some of the most breathtaking natural scenery in the world. From pristine beaches, lush jungles, to stunning mountains and underwater wonderlands, vloggers can capture the beauty of the archipelago like nowhere else. It's interesting to note that there are about 2,000 plus islands that are uninhabited, so vloggers can have an entire island for themselves to capture interesting videos. Number six, adventure opportunities. Adventure is always around the corner in the Philippines. 
from thrilling sports to challenging hikes. It's a playground for vloggers seeking adventurous experiences. Number seven, vibrant festivals. The Philippines is known for its vibrant and colorful festivals, each offering rich and unique stories and traditions. Vloggers love capturing these uh, celebrations. Number eight, food adventure. Filipino cuisine is a delicious blend of flavors. Foreign vloggers come to taste, share, and explore the diverse dishes from adobo to halo halo. Number nine, romantic destination. The Philippines is a dream destination for couples and honeymooners. Its romantic settings like Palawan and Boracay make for stunning vlog content. Number 10. Hidden Gems The Philippines is full of hidden gems. Vloggers enjoying uncovering these lesser known spots and sharing them with their audience. Now remember as I mentioned earlier that there are about 2000 plus islands that are completely uninhabited. So vloggers can have their time to capture interesting content. language learning opportunities. The country's proficiency in English makes it an ideal place for vloggers to learn new languages, engage with locals, and improve their communication skills. Number 12. Dive Paradise. For underwater enthusiasts, the Philippines is a paradise for diving and snorkeling boasting some of the most diverse marine life in the world, especially in Boracay. Number 13. Unique Transportation Modes Vloggers often find themselves documenting the unique transportation modes in the Philippines. 
from colorful jeepneys to serene boat rides. Number 14. Island Hopping Island hopping is a vlogger's dream come true. With thousands of islands to explore, vloggers can create captivating content while hopping from one island to another. Number 15. Ease of Communication English is widely spoken in the Philippines. Vloggers won't have difficulty finding audience for their content because Filipinos understand and can communicate in English very well. When you're in the Philippines, you won't have any difficulty communicating with people. Most people can speak English, even for example, when you go to a mall or a store. In the Philippines, it won't be difficult for you to communicate with uh, people. I've also noticed that some Filipinos have an excellent command of the English language. For example, my subscribers, I've noticed that their use of uh, words and vocabulary is really sophisticated. They choose sophisticated uh, vocabulary in their uh, sentences. So that is something I find really shocking about uh, Filipinos. So, there you have it, 15 compelling reasons why foreign vloggers come to the Philippines. The Philippines offers endless opportunities for creativity, adventure, and cultural exploration.